Hi everyone and welcome to the fifth lecture of tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem tree distances two. Problem says you are given a tree consisting of n nodes. The task is to determine for each node the sum of distances from the node to all the nodes. So this is the sample tree given. Now the distance from the first node to the second node would be one, right? From the first to the third would be one, and from the first to both fourth and fifth would be two. The sum of distances would be six, right? The answer for first node would be six. For second node, the distance to the first node would be one. From two to the third node would be two, and the distance to both the fourth and fifth node would be three each, right? This would be nine. And we need to find the answer for all the nodes in the tree. Now the brute force solution for this could be to run a DFS at each of the nodes. But we know that the time complexity for DFS is big of n, and there are n nodes in the tree, so the total would become big of n square, right? Which obviously won't work, and we need a more efficient solution. Now I'll be using rerouting in this problem, like the previous one. Now let's say I have a node U. Now you as children, v1, v2, and so on, vk. Let's say u has a parent w, and w has x. Now to find the sum of distances from u to all the nodes in the tree, I can divide it into Two parts, like the previous problem. Firstly, the sum of distances to all the nodes in the subtree of U, which is all of these nodes, and then the sum of distances to the nodes in the rest of the tree, which is all of these. Right now, in this problem, I actually need this this particular partial answer only for the first node and for the rest of the nodes i can calculate just by making a few changes to the answer of the parent node for each node now firstly let me show you how to calculate this particular partial answer or the complete answer for the first node now this would be the complete answer for the first node because first node does not have any parents so the sum of the, uh, the distances to all the nodes for the first node would be the sum of distances to all the nodes in the children of in the subtree of the first node Right. So let's say these are the children of the first node. Now I know that the distance from the root to any node is the depth for that particular node. So the depth of the first node we one. Now the depth for each of the children of the these nodes would be two and so on. Now if I know the sum of the depths for all the nodes in this subtree and all of these subtrees. Then the sum of all of these would be the sum of distances from one to all the nodes, right? And likewise for all of these no all of these children of one, let's say this node is V. So for V, which is a child of one, there would be multiple children. And I can find the answer for this, which is the sum of depths of all the nodes in this node and all of these nodes, right? And sum them up, and that would be the answer for V. And I'll have to add one, which is the depth of V, right? And for all of these children, the depth would be two. Likewise, I can find the sum of distances from one to all the nodes. This would be my first step, which is running a DFS. From the first node to find the sum of distances to all the nodes. Right. Next, when I have the answer for the first node, I can find the answer for all of the nodes in the tree. Let me show you how. Let's say I have a tree. Uh, I have a node V, and this has a parent W, and 
this has a parent let's say x this has children like and there are children here right and there are subtrees of these children and so on now let's say all of these nodes let me represent them by a which is a is all the nodes in the subtree of b and b are all the nodes in the rest of the tree which is this part not in the subtree of b right and let's say the number of nodes in a are n and the number number of nodes in b would be let's say total number of nodes in the whole tree are capital n and then the number of nodes in b would be n minus small n right now let's say i know the answer for w which is answer of w this is the sum of the distances from w to all the nodes in the tree now i know that the distance from w to any node a a is a node in the subtree would be distance of v to a plus 1 why because i am traveling an extra edge here so the distance will increase by 1 for any any node which is in the subtree of v now if i take the summation of this summation of d of w of a where a is where a are all the nodes in this particular subtree it would be summation of one which is equal to summation of d of b comma a plus n right because one was getting added n times because there are n nodes in the subtree of v thus we get this result from this you can also write it as summation of d of distance from v to all the nodes in its subtree is summation of distance from w to all the node in the subtree of v minus n right now The summation of di distance from W to B, where B are all the nodes in the remaining part of the tree, would be, or let's see, the distance from W to B, or the distance from V to any point B, which outside the subtree, would be distance from w to b w to b plus 1 right because in this subtree the distance from w the node has to travel an extra edge to reach b thus we add 1 to this distance now if we take the summation summation d would be summation of all of these which would be summation of d of w comma b plus capital n minus n because these are the number of nodes that are not the part of the subtree which is which are from the rest of the tree right this is a second result now if we add these two we get now these are the sum of distances from v node to the nodes in the subtree of v and these are some of distances from v node to the rest of the tree to the nodes in the rest of the tree so some of these would make the answer for v which would be the sum of this plus this which is summation of minus n plus summation of d of plus capital n minus n now this plus this makes for the answer of w so we can write it as answer of w plus capital n minus 
2 into small n. And this proves that the that the answer of v only depends on the parent plus the size obviously of this that's why we only need to calculate for the first node and for all the rest of the nodes we can calculate just by the parent of that now i'll just look at the code firstly we have an array of vectors then there's a dp array and an answer array now we run this first dfs to find the answer for the first node and also for each of the subtree rooted at the particular node we store the size of that subtree in the dp array right and for let's say for a node v with parent p and some particular depth we firstly add to the answer of the first node the depth and then the dp of v firstly has one because it is adding the node itself and then for all the children of v firstly it is running a dfs for that child and then it's adding the subtree size of that child right also in this dfs it is incrementing the depth by one right now this dfs calculates the final answer so for a node v with parent p it goes to each of the child of the particular node v and then the answer for that child becomes the answer for v plus n n here is the total number of nodes in the tree minus 2 into dp of i dp of i is the number of nodes in the subtree of i right and then we run the dfs for the children this is the main function now firstly we take the input for the tree now we run the dfs this calculates the answer for the first node with initially keeping the depth as zero then this calculates the final answer and then we print it so that's it make sure you subscribe and share this video thank you for watching